Semi-transparent pixels are the scourge of every DTF producer. They make you think something's wrong with your printer when it's actually something wrong with the graphic file. Now this happens anytime you take any file and work with it in a raster-based program like Photoshop. Even if you take a vector file and you export it as a PNG or as a raster file, it's going to create semi-transparent pixels. And that's because of something called anti-aliasing. Basically what it's doing is the software is trying to make those transitions, those straight lines, those curves look a little bit smoother but it creates semi-transparent pixels. Let me show you what I mean. I've got this logo here that was made using Illustrator and it was exported as a PNG. Look at all those semi-transparent pixels. And if you have your choke set at two or three on your printer, or maybe your printer's slightly out of alignment, um, you could have this white peeking out around these edges and it wouldn't be because it was the printer's fault, but it's the graphics fault. I was working with a technician once that the customer was convinced he was not aligning the printer properly. I said, send me the graphic. He sent me the graphic and there were semi-transparent pixels everywhere. So how do we kill them? Real easy. First, select the layer. We're going to go to layer, layer mask from transparency. Then we're gonna to go to image adjustments threshold and we can adjust this slider back and forth. You see, look at the edges of the graphic. Basically what's happening here is it's choosing the point at which like right now it's 50% transparent. It's gonna go, if it's under that, it's gonna to go totally transparent. If it's above that, it's gonna go totally opaque. But if we zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see as the slider is moving back and forth. Most of the time you're gonna be fine, just leave it at 128 like it is as a default. But if you want to finesse it or make some adjustments, you can click OK. And there you have it. No more semi-transparent pixels, all 100%. Even great quality graphics will still have some semi-transparent pixels. So that's how you get rid of it. But if you're working with those Etsy files, you need to do this. You have to do this with every one of those files that come in because they've just got tons of them. One other way to tell if it's your machine that's out of alignment or semi-transparent pixels is what side of the graphic is the white peeking out on. If the white's peeking out all on one side of the letters, then that means your printer's probably out of alignment. If it's peeking out all around it or in random places, that's probably semi-transparency and it's an easy thing to check. Just pop it into Photoshop and do those steps I showed you. If there's any other things that have come up in your DTF business that really drive you nuts and you want an answer for it, do me a favor and drop a comment below and let me know what those questions are, what those issues are, and we'll do our best to put together a video to answer those questions. And make sure you join us every single week for our live streams where I'll discuss a topic and then answer any questions that the folks on the live stream wanna throw at me. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.